Today we're going to learn a little bit more about our American Tango. Today we're going to be doing what we call the open fan. This is a characteristic step that everyone sees in the tango. Today we're going to do it. Get your shoes on, join me on the floor, let's do it. And thank you for joining me. My name is Jim Cole. This is Sunstrike Dance Port. This is the place where people come to learn how to dance and how to dance better. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if this is the first time that you've uh, been here, please hit the like button, please subscribe. Please hit that little notification bell. That helps me a lot. Thank you. All right, today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the tango, the American tango, and with it comes our open fan position. Cool thing about the open fan position is that it, it many, many different steps can come off of this. So once we understand how this is done, then we can uh, apply it to some of the other steps that we may already know. This is a nice link step to many things as we're gonna learn throughout our American tango. Uh, I like to teach the step right away and we get into the, just the, the basic step but toward the end, uh, we go into some technique to allow us to do it better. So please make sure that you stay tuned, watch it all the way through so that you can get those little nuggets, those little gems that I'm gonna throw in there. All right, so without further ado, because I talk way too much, let's talk about the American Tango open fan step position. I love it. Okay, so here we go. So this is our, we're gonna talk a little bit about our uh, leader's part. So what we're gonna do is we start the step in a what we call a promenade position. So we are in our promenade position. Now we learn the promenade position from our uh, promenade turning left and turning right. If you don't remember, that will be in our playlist, which will be up here. You can, you can access it, watch it, come back to it. That way we understand what we're gonna be doing with our promenade position. So here we are in our promenade position. Uh, weight is on my right foot, general, uh, uh, the left foot is free. I'm having a hard time speaking here today. All right, so excited to see you. That's why, thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step forward with the left and CBMP. Then we're gonna step across in our right. And we're gonna step forward. As we do that, we're gonna put the weight back onto that right foot and that will allow us to do a little action, what we call a flick, okay? So let's take that part again. So we have, so we have left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, weight back onto the right foot, and we do a little bit of a flick action. As we're doing this, we're, the lady is passing us and we're going to be side by side in what we call a fan position, okay? So this is why we have the fan. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left foot. I'm going to go in, uh, going to go into this direction, and I step, and then I take my right foot, and then I do a forward step, and then I draw. Okay. So the timing of this coming from our promenade position is slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. Good. So if we were doing it from the back, that might give us a little bit more of an idea of what's happening here. We have, oh, taking it from a promenade position, sorry. So we have left, right, left, right, flick. You see me okay? All right, so now we do a, we do a side, and then a quick, quick, slow. Okay, let's do that again. This time we'll do it with our timing from promenade position. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. 
slow, slow, quick, quick draw. Awesome. Excellent. How do we do? I think we did pretty good. All right, let's talk a little bit about the followers part. We're going to be taking it toward the camera on this. Okay. So we're taking it from our promenade position. We're going to be facing the camera and we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We get that? Okay, let's do that again. So you're, we're together in a promenade position. My right foot goes free. Left foot goes forward here. See that? I'm going to step on my right, left, and then I do my flick. From here, I take my right foot and I step across. Then I take my left, and then I do my tango close. Okay, so if we did that, uh, here we are. Let's do it again with the timing, and then we'll take it from the back side. So we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Good. All right, so if I'm taking it uh, from here, from the camera, and we're going that way, we have right foot, left foot, right foot, and then we're basically going to turn half there, placing the weight back onto that right foot, so we do our little flick action. Now, we're going to take our right foot, then our left foot, and then we finish with our tango close. All right. So let's take that with the timing, ladies part. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Good. All right, some of the things, this is kind of a loaded step, so there's a lot of little things that we need to do here. So one of the things that uh, we'll talk a little bit about the leader's part on this is uh, how do we lead this? How do we get the lady to pass before us so that uh, she goes into the open fan position? A lot of times, guys like to push the lady through. So as she's in a prominent position here, he likes to take her and kind of throw her out. Now that's great, but the lady has to be able to move her own body weight. And if we throw her, that's going to throw her weight off. So that's a big no-no. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to lead because of our footwork. Remember our foot placement. This is very, very important in the tango. So what we want to think about doing is as we're in our promenade position, we're maintaining a nice steady frame. As I put the weight onto uh, that left foot, and then I put that weight onto that right foot, what I do is I take it a little bit smaller of a step, and the lady's going to just do her part by moving past me. So you notice I'm not really pulling her through. I'm actually taking that smaller step there. Then I'm replacing the weight back, which is pulling away from the lady, so I'm stepping away from the lady, setting my weight back, and that allows her to open up to do the rotation. So it looks like this. So we have the weight on the left, we have the weight on the right, we have the weight on the left. As she continues to move, I send my center back onto that right foot, which allows me to be able to do this flick action. Yes, so this is huge. So once we get this and we're in an open fan position, now I'm able to lead this. The other thing we want to think about is that I'm going to place the lady where she needs to go. So what happens a lot of times is I move, I move without her, and I pull her to get her to do the step. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I think about placing her, then I move, See that? And then I place her, then I move, and then I'm able to move and finish the step, okay? So you want to think of making sure that you 
place, then move. Not place and move, or move, then place, okay? We'll go into more detail on that on the next couple of steps that we talk about in the next in this series. So please stay tuned for that. All right, so the ladies part of this, this is, an, this is a step where we really need to be able to move our own body and not really have the gentleman move us. All we need to know is the direction that we need to go. So, so uh, followers, what we do is as we're in our promenade position, we have that right foot, left foot. Now we're feeling the gentleman move us to the next step, but he pulls away. As he pulls away, we feel the separation. And what happens is, is as we're uh, stepping, Let's, let's do that let's do that again. Okay, so we have a right foot, left foot. As I'm feeling that separation as I'm going, I'm feeling the hand, and that allows me not to go any further. You notice he's caught my hand. See that? And now it's I'm able to do my flick. All right? So think of it like a rope, and then he's making sure that you don't go any further. Okay, so we have right foot, left foot, right foot, run out of rope. See that? There it is. Okay, so now what I wait for is I'm waiting to do this step. I wait for the leader to actually uh, give me the idea of what we're going to do. So my white, right foot is free. And so what he does is he places my right foot. As I place the weight onto my right foot, I get my center over that foot. Then I'm able to do my little fan action. See that? And then as he takes my hand over, or my, my left foot over here, I just do my pivot action there. And then I finish with my tango close. Okay? So from this position, one more time, he's actually leading me to the, where the step should be. I put my center over that foot, which allows me to do my fan action. And then I take my left foot. I get over onto it, and that allows me to be able to do my uh, pivoting action there. And then I come back with a draw. Excellent. Great job. Applying these principles will allow us to be able to do this step better. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe, and please, please, please hit that, that bell. I know that you have many choices, and I want to thank you for choosing me here at Sunstrike Dance Park. Have a great day.